Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to address a question that was asked today on how to calculate the average wind speed from a mesh layer using a specified area from a polygon layer. I'm going to use a grip file that I download from this website. You can find the link in the description of this video. Here I've loaded the grip file into QGIS and I'm going to create a polygon layer. In this example, I'll just create a temporary scratch layer, but you can also load your own uh, polygon layer. Just make sure that the uh, projection corresponds with the mesh layer. Now let's digitize a polygon. Close it with a right click. Toggle off the editing mode and confirm that you want to save the polygon. Now select the mesh layer and in the mesh menu, go to the mesh calculator. There, use the average function and the wind dataset. Save the results to average wind speed and keep the binary DAT format. You can here add the group name to recognize the result. Call it average wind speed meters per second. Under spatial extent, select mask layer and we use there the area polygon. Under temporal extent, you can define the temporal range. And I use here 16 of August midnight until 17 of August midnight. Now the result has been calculated, but you don't see uh, that area because we need to select the group from the mesh styling panel. And here we see the result. Now go to the processing toolbox and under the mesh tools, choose rasterize mesh dataset. We use our input mesh layer and from the dataset groups we choose the current active dataset group which is the one on the wind speed, on the average that we calculated. Note that here our pixel size is in degrees, so we use a small number there. And I save the output raster. And I call it average wind speed. Uh, and add just raster to make sure I recognize it and I run it. And here's the result, our mesh converted to raster. So each pixel has the average uh, wind speed in that area over the time. But we're interested in the average wind speed for the whole area. And therefore I can use the raster statistics. Choose the raster layer statistics tool from the processing toolbox and uh, run it. And there you can see the result. So in this area for the date range, the mean value is 2.8 meters per second. And you can also get the minimum and the maximum value here. 